students in uh, Indiana have been suspended for looking at a, an image of their teacher that was semi-nude. So apparently they were looking at an iPad and the iPad was somehow synced to the teacher's iPhone. And on that iPhone, she had a, a photo of herself in a bra. And four of the students were you know, playing on the iPad. They discovered the picture, and they were looking at it. Well, in the end, uh, the school decided that they would suspend the students for looking at the image of their teacher in a bra. One of the students pressed a button, and a photograph of this teacher's bare chest was revealed. It's not our fault that she had the photo on there. We couldn't do anything to not look at it. It was, it was her fault that she had the photo on there because she her iPhone synced to it. She had to oppress something to make all of her photos sync onto there. Yeah. I, I wish they'd left the camera running for like five seconds where eventually he just starts smiling a little bit. <laughs> Can we just, uh, we know what the truth is though. Oh right? yeah. Like the kid, jackpot. Yeah. And of course they were looking at it and they were probably like, hey, get a load of yeah. this, right? Who cares? Instantly emailing it to themselves, by the way, to have a copy on file. I think this is yet another case of where technology is just too complicated mm -hmm. to live in a world where we care this much about nudity. Like Alison Pill accidentally tweets out what was supposed to be a direct message of her being topless. I was sending direct messages last night and I, nothing questionable and it's, it's complicated. And I can totally understand how somebody would accidentally send something they don't mean to because I sent something and then I realized I can't, looking at the message, I can't tell if this was a direct message or if it just went to everybody. Like there was no indication in the client that I use. I always panic when like our company will send like a mass email to everyone and I just want to respond to the last person who replied to the mm -hmm. thread and it might be something snarky. Yeah. All right, just some inside baseball for you guys. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm like, shit, did I just send it to one person just or did send I send it to the it whole country? <laughs> I just sent it to everyone in the company. No. That would not be good. Obviously, this is not what how they should respond. Like she made the mistake of having it on her phone and it accidentally gets like got synced up. Like I understand that you want to you want to punish them, I guess. I don't understand what they did wrong exactly. really. Exactly. So they what do you explain? It. Well, wh it was for students. It was yeah. contained to four students. So mm. uh, how do you explain to those students what they're guilty of? Curiosity. Because at the end of the day, the teacher is the one who made the mistake. I don't think that she should be punished because it was, you know, it was a legitimate mistake. It wasn't mm -hmm. something she did on purpose. And also, it wasn't even a nude picture. It was her and her bra. bra. Right, exactly. It's, it's like wearing a bikini. What if she was wearing a bikini? Yeah. Exactly. And I'm, I'm surprised that in this case, they didn't just fire the teacher immediately. That's usually what they do in this sort of case, where right. it turns out that she has naked photos or she did porn 20 years ago or something like that. Now, the school claims that they punished her, but they're not specifying what they did. Um, mm -hmm. I don't even think she should have been punished. It was a legitimate mistake. I, I assume their first step was to confiscate the, uh, the iPad.